What's up guys, this is Burt Music, and today I have a pretty different video for you. This is a video I've been meaning to make for pretty much a year now, and now I'm finally able to make it. So earlier this year, I think it might have been roughly in January or so, there was a certain brand new guitar being released by a certain artist, and this guitar looked absolutely phenomenal. When I saw the guitar, I was like, okay, I absolutely need to get this guitar. So pretty much the moment it was made available to buy, I ended up placing an order, and I was so excited for the guitar. However, though, this guitar was subject to multiple delays. I think it was supposed to be ready in like June or July. The person who was assigned to my sales order kept telling me it was going to get delayed and then delayed and then delayed just like a delay pedal but with this video i'm proud to present to you guys the ibanez steve vibe pf 3761 in panther pink let's go now as we unbox the ibanez steve vibe pf 3761 you'll notice that the case is actually very different it kind of has this textured finish i personally have not seen this on an ibanez case before so i thought it was pretty unique but let's go ahead and open up the case here and oh my god you can see the guitar it looks absolutely insane that panther pink finish is just so unique it's not like this flat pink color it's seems to be a lot more dynamic and there's all of these intricate details right from the head of the guitar as you go down to the neck and then obviously the body itself it's just all around a very stunning guitar so yeah i'm picking up the guitar for the first time i mean this guitar is just phenomenal i can't get over the finish man i mean it's crazy the finish for this guitar is called panther pink but i mean honestly in certain lights it's kind of purple this is just such a funky looking guitar i mean it's really cool it's just such an eye-catching guitar i mean obviously you have this panther pink finish you have the pickups which are just like so intricate looking the guitar also has gold hardware throughout pretty much much everywhere you have it on the bridge the locking nut and the tuners and i don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up but for the volume and tone knobs it also has this unique like little pattern right on top it's kind of like this pink and dark purple kind of color so yeah as far as it goes for the aesthetics for this guitar i mean it's insane now again this video is just my first impressions of the pia guitar some of the other things i'm noticing is the scalloped frets i think it goes from the 19th fret to the 24th and another thing that's very different about this guitar compared to the gem series is the monkey grip that's on the gem versus this teardrop shape you can still grip the guitar and hold it like this i think you kind of have less access though especially on this smaller teardrop maybe that's just me but this is kind of tricky to actually hold <laughs> so if you're wanting to get a steve vi signature guitar purely to be able to just grab it and throw it around if you want to i mean you might want to go with the gem but that's pretty much it for the front of the guitar let's take a look at the back the back plate for this guitar is also something that's new i'm not sure if other guitar manufacturers are doing this but it might be a first for ibanez this backing plate actually just kind of pops off it's magnetic and i mean it's kind of strong but the backing plate for this guitar is basically just a giant magnet it pops on and off so that's pretty handy as well but i'm gonna be pretty careful with putting this thing back on just like any other backing plate because you don't want it to accidentally scratch the paint but i think i've talked enough about this guitar let's actually go play it
impressions of playing the Pia guitar is that it's amazing. I think that pretty much goes without saying, but the actual tone of the guitar is pretty exceptional. Of the many Ibanez guitars that I have, I'd say that it plays most similarly to the Gem 777DY. It has a very similar feel. The neck is absolutely amazing to play, but as far as it goes for the tone, there are some tonal differences. I feel like the Pia kind of pulls back on the actual output itself. With the five-way pickup selector, you still get this great range of tones, but it kind of feels like it's not like... I'm kind of at a loss for words on how to describe it. It just doesn't feel like the output is necessarily as hot as the other guitars. I think I think the way I'm trying to describe this guitar's tone is that it's a little bit more subtle and nuanced. But yeah, it was absolutely worth roughly 10 months of a wait to be able to get this guitar. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my initial impressions of the Steve Ipia guitar. If you haven't checked it out already, I have a third channel called Music. I do music related videos on there. It has been a bit, but I'm gonna definitely do a lot more coverage of the Pia. I'll have a link in the description to the music channel. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because uploads they can be kind of scarce there. I do my best to not spam out uploads to the music channel. I want to take the time and effort to make quality uploads, but the channel's also been kind of vacant, so I'm going to do my best to try to get some more videos on there soon. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more guitar videos on the channel, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need a, I don't need a, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need a dime. <laughs>